I'm Tiffany, and I chose SurveyMonkey. Um, SurveyMonkey is an online tool, and it enables users to create a survey. You can choose from 15 different question types, and you can customize the look and feel. And you can also receive responses through the web or through your email. Um, the system requirements are internet connection and email. You don't have to download anything. This is just the main website. And the cost is you can get the free program, but you can only have 10 questions per survey. And you can only receive up to 100 responses per each survey. You can upgrade to the $17 per month, and you can get unlimited questions for your surveys and unlimited responses. You also can customize the design a little bit more. Um, the higher ones, it got kind of confusing, like what you're actually paying for. A lot of people like use the website that are companies, and they use their company surveys through SurveyMonkey. And then you can also, for um, getting responses, you can pay SurveyMonkey to find you a certain like group of people that you want to respond to your survey. So if you're doing a survey based on like college kids, that you can pay them. They will find a group of college kids, and then they will have them take your survey for you, so you can get responses that way. Um, my experience, uh, some of the question types were kind of confusing on how to set them up, so you just kind of play with them a little bit. It's easy to make a simple multiple choice uh, question survey, and I use this survey monkey for a college course called Sociological Analysis. And even for that class, she set aside like a whole class just to show us how to use it. So it's probably wouldn't work well in lower grades because it's a little bit confusing on trying to figure it out. Um, the pros are it's easy to make basic surveys if you just want to do like a multiple choice survey. You can collect responses on the web so you don't have to go find people and pass out your survey. It's easy access and it saves you from printing out a bunch of surveys and then collecting them all back and then recording your findings on a separate sheet. Some of the cons are making the surveys can be a little bit confusing. The free version only allows you 10 questions per survey and younger students may not be able to understand how to like input their questions. And this is just a tutorial that kind of helped me figure out how to set up the survey. And integration, for math, you can collect your data from the surveys and then have students make a graph based on their findings. For sociology, you can make a survey and take their findings and form a hypothesis to so solve a social problem. In my sociology class, I did how the, how the media affects body image. So pretty much just ask questions like how much media intake they take in per day and what their body image is, and then I had to like correspond how they relate to each other. And for writing, you can make a survey and write about your findings. Okay. So this is where it brings you when you sign in. You can look at all your surveys right here. You can <coughs> edit them once you're done. It tells you how many responses you've received. And then for Analyze, that's usually when you pay for the higher ones. It'll graph out the information for you, and it'll tell you um, how your information like corresponds. And then you just hit Create Survey. And then you can just title your survey. So like, I thought an easy one for younger students, if you just did like an About Me when they first come into the class. And you can also like pick a category based on like different things you want your survey to be about and it'll suggest questions for you to put up. Okay, and this is just where you make your survey. You can change the colors. It's not very creative, but it changes like two bars. And then you just go to add question. And then you can type your question in here, like what do you And then it'll give you like uh, suggestions on what you're typing. And then here's the question examples. They have 15 different kinds. This is just the most simple one, like do you like ice cream, yes or no. This one, you can select like all the different kinds you do like, so you can have multiple um, answers. And then they have text boxes. You can rate, then 
like all different kinds, text boxes, and then you can add like the demographic information, the date and time, and that just kind of helps you figure out how to use the questions. Um, so just multiple choice, you just do the first one on the first line, and then you always have to make a space so it makes it uh, go down to the next selection. save and close or you can save and add your next question. So when you save and close, it just pops up on here and then they'll all just go down in a row. And then you can publish your survey or you can send um, your survey through your email to everyone you know so that they can take it and give you a response. You can also post it on Facebook so all your Facebook friends can <coughs> respond to your survey as well. 